Hey guys, it's Ben from Irish Woodshop, and in this video, we're going to go over something for the Shapoko, the Carbide 3D Touch Probe. This thing is like a unicorn in the wild. If you ever see it for sale, buy it as fast as you can. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install it and use it on your Shapoko. Stay tuned. We've got to unbox it first, so this is what comes inside of it. It's a box within a box. There it is, the box. We slide it open. We got a card in it. it tells you what website to go to to install it. Next, we have the alligator clip and the adapter if you're running some older firmware boards. Then we have the carbide touch probe itself. If your Shapoko is fairly new, you won't need to use this adapter. I won't be using it because my Shapoko didn't need it. If you do, refer to that website. They'll show you how to install it. This is the little LED that's usually green until you touch. That's the circle where you're going to want to touch your bit to. Here's the back that has a raised L shape on the back. You can see the indention. This is very important, and I'll show you later in the steps. Here it is. It's pretty shiny. It's solid aluminum. To install it, you'll have to remove the two bolts that hold on the cover plate to the motherboard. In the upper right hand side, you'll see a three pin connector. If you're used to using computer fans, it looks like a computer fan connector and the touch probe will attach exactly to that. There's an indentation, so you cannot do it wrong. I have some extra wires above it because I have a laser installed. Now just reattach the plate. The next step is to attach this alligator clip. One end is the clip, the other end has a uh, hole where a bolt can go through. I went ahead and attached mine to the bolt that's holding on the rubber belts. Uh, that was the right size, it's on the front, I can access it easy. Really any bolt you find that's a ground will work. Easy way to test it is to take the alligator clip, take the uh, probe, when the green light is on, touch it. If the green light comes off, you're grounded. So we're going to go ahead and probe now. I have a piece of one quarter inch ply on the Shapoko. I slid the touch probe up onto the corner that I want to have my zero out. And I'm using a remote to go ahead and move the Shapoko over that circle on the touch probe. There's a link in the description for the remote. So we're manually jogging the bit over the touch probe. It doesn't have to be very close, but we want to get it pretty exact. We definitely have to be over the circle. Once we get it close to where we want it, we're going to move over to Carbide Motion. So this is Carbide Motion version 4. If you don't have this, you have to have it to be able to use the touch probe. Go ahead and see my other videos in the description to see how to upgrade to that. So we have a few different options. The first one is Probe Z Height. That is just how high off the surface the bit will be. Next one is the Z, X, and Y. That's uh, high off the surface, off the left side of the surface, and off the front side of the surface. Have you noticed the picture? They're different. If you're only going to do the Z height, you're going to position the probe on the surface. That little L bracket, that'll be on the surface. If you're doing the Z, X, and Y, you're going to put that L bracket hanging over the corner. Look at the picture real close. Do you notice it? That makes a huge difference and you'll be off if you don't set that correctly. Also, when you're choosing Z, X, and Y, there's another drop down where you select the proper tool. You'll select the size end mill you're using and the ball or end mill. Notice there isn't a V bit. You cannot use a V bit to do the X and Y, only the Z. Let's say you're only going to cut with a V bit. I suggest putting in an end mill in there, finding the X and Y, and then changing it over to the V bit and just finding the Z. That'll help you. Here's what a proper probing looks like. And this is what happens if you set the bit too far above the probe and you choose to probe.
the kickbacks is error number one, probing cycle failed. If you get this, you started off too far away and you have to reinitialize and go through that whole process again. That's why I said get as close as you can in the beginning and uh, it'll make things a whole lot easier. Here's a proper probing of the X, Y, and Z all at the same time. And at this point, all of your zeros are found. You don't have to go in and set them. It's already automatically done it. You're just now ready to go ahead and run your G-code. Here's a pretty good example of when you forget to attach the Z-clip, but you choose to probe anyway. Don't forget the Z-clip. Really lucky I didn't snap a bit. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope that helped you out with your touch probe. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer them. Or you can find me on Instagram at Myers Woodshop. Say goodbye. Bye.